doing things that have never been done before, and the way they were done say a lot about a player's career. Tyler Tettleton is arguably the greatest quarterback in the history of Ohio University football. He shattered every major single season and career passing record. He's on top of 27 lists. In three years as a starter, he helped win 25 games. Two were bowl games, the school's first two bowl victories. He led on and off the field. He was the face of the program. Now his career is over, but what he did will live on. His name and accomplishments have filled record books and trophy cases, but it nearly didn't happen in Athens at all. The Norman, Oklahoma native wasn't heavily recruited. Finally, a call from the Cats. Yeah, it was late in the recruiting process that they um, contacted me, and you know I was very uh, uh, fortunate enough to, to have uh, someone like them come and, and reach out to me and um, show interest. And I uh, just fell in love with them ever since, and um, you know loved the direction they were headed, and was excited uh, to be a part of what they were doing here. Tettleton was a freshman in 2009. Ohio won the East Division title and went on to a bowl game. He played sparingly. His first touchdown came on the ground in a key win at Buffalo. After the season, he had a decision to make involving a shirt of a different color. I'm so glad that I, I took that year to, to red shirt and, and uh, take advantage of it. I grew mentally and physically and, um, you know, it was just a great year too, just to, to spend time with, with the guys and it's allowed me to be a better player, a better person, and, um, you know, I really benefit from it. It turned out stepping away from game action put him in the game as a starter in 2011. I might mention the quarterback position. Tyler Tettleton will be our starting quarterback. You know, I, I didn't expect the year that I, I, I had and just make sure I do, did everything right, come to practice every single day, uh, ready to work and, and prepare the right way. And, um, you know, I think I did that and I took advantage of of uh, my opportunity. The year he had included 3,300 yards and 28 touchdowns through the air, and 658 yards and 10 touchdowns on the ground. The individual numbers tell a great deal of the story, but not the whole story. He willed the Cats to win big conference games at home against Temple. You need a touchdown here. Wide out left, two wide outs to the right. Out of the shotgun, it's Tendleton. Looks right, looks over the middle, in trouble now. Pocket breaks, scampers left, on the run left, throws towards the end zone, and it is caught! Touchdown Ohio, Dante Foster! Oh baby, what a big time hookup! The Oklahoma kids come through! 141 to go for the ball game! Ohio 34, Temple 31! And the East Division clincher at Bowling Green. And Ohio would love that grinded out drive to end with a touchdown score, or any kind of score, to win this ball game. From 24 yards away, snap back, placement down, kick through, and good! Ohio wins! Ohio wins! And Ohio paints the Eastern Division green and white. I think if you just ask anybody around the team, um, you know, I'm probably as competitive as it gets. And I don't like losing whatsoever. But that's just, uh, you know, who I am and, uh, you know, kind of how I was raised. You know, I, I never wanted to lose. and. Um, you know, always have that mindset that I want to give it my all and, and uh, do whatever I can to win. Ohio didn't win the MAC championship game against Northern Illinois. It was a heartbreaking 23-20 loss in Detroit. But the pain of that moment helped fuel the desire to do something that had never been done in school history, win in a bowl game. History was made in Boise, Idaho, in the famous Idaho Potato Bowl against Utah State, a game in which Tent was terrific. Ohio trails by 13, and it's an option right. Tyler pulls it back, has lots of time to throw. Throws it for LeVon Brazil, and he leaps, and he made the catch. Touchdown, Cats! Oh, what a big time play! 23-16, you give Tyler that much time, and you give LeVon that much room, they're going to hook up every time. Is this going to be a historic drive? First and 10 ball at the Ohio 38. Tettleton has time. Sings it over the middle. It is caught. It's a first down. It's Riley Dunlop inside Utah State Territory. 45 seconds left. Fourth down and six. Ball at the Utah State 14. 
four wide receivers left and a wide out to the right. Big rush on. Tyler has time. Floats it over the middle of the field. It's caught. LeVon Brazil reads for the end zone. Did he get in? He takes a snap. Low snap. Pulls it back. Rolls over to the right side. On the run of the end zone. Dies. Touchdown, Cats. Touchdown, Cats. 13 seconds left. And Ohio just tied the game. Now for the most important extra point in Ohio University football history. We're tied at 23. Snap back, placement down, kick through, and it is good! Ohio leads 24 to 23. I'll take those those bowl victories over anything. And um, you know, just so glad that we could do that for the first time ever in school history. And um, you know, that was a special year. It was, it was a great group of guys and um, we had a lot of fun that year and it gave us some momentum going into these these uh, past two years too. After the bowl win, there was a great deal of Bobcat buzz going into 2012. It kept right on buzzing with the win at Penn State, a Sports Illustrated story, a pole position, and a BCS ranking. Tettleton became Ohio's all-time leader in passing yards and passing touchdowns. But then the loss at Miami, and just one regular season win after that. Still, they did enough to reach the postseason, the Independence Bowl against Louisiana Monroe a game that the Cats put out of reach early. Cats trying to take the lead. Tettleton out of the pistol. Play action, rolls the pocket left, throws to Foster, wide open, six for the Cats. And how about that start to this ball game? 12.04 to go, quarter one. Ohio's 4.05, boys hook up again. Tettleton to Dante Foster, six nothing Cats. Back to pass is Tyler, four-man rush, lobs the ball deep down the near side, it's caught, Cochran back in the D, on the run, 20, 15, 10, 5, 6 for the Cats. The Bobcats, for the second year in a row, have won in a bowl. Ohio wins it 45 to 14. You know, we started off the season great, you know, it, we didn't finish the way we wanted, but we ended up with a bowl victory, and, and uh, that's all that matters going into the next season. His senior season was his third straight 2,500-yard passing campaign. It included the third straight win over rival Marshall. But it was an up-and-down season on the field, and emotionally, too. And even though he spent five seasons in Athens, a career always seems to go by in the blink of an eye. Senior day seems so far away at the start, but comes quickly. On the day after Thanksgiving, Tettleton played his final game at Beaton Stadium. Fittingly, it was a win over UMass. Yeah, it was a very emotional day, uh, you know, obviously my last last game in Peden and um, you know, I, have, I had so many great memories here and so, um, you know, it was just, you know, kind of a bittersweet feeling walking off for the last time and, uh, you know, so glad that we, we were able to finish that thing off right and, you know, I, I had no idea what was going to happen bowl situation wise so I just tried to take advantage of that last game and, um, you know, give it my all. He started his first game in Las Cruces, New Mexico in 2011 against New Mexico State. He ended his career as the Bobcats starter in the Beef O'Brady's Bowl against East Carolina on December the 23rd, 2013 in St. Petersburg, Florida. It was a loss, but being there, being the starter in a bowl for the third straight year in the school's fifth straight postseason trip further legitimized his legacy. I mean, I just... Um... I would hope that everybody saw me as a winner and, you know, one of those guys that everybody could look up to and, you know, just gave my all every single day. Even though his career is now over, what he did will continue to live on because the program has a chance to go on to even bigger and better things, and his work is a big reason why. You know, I love how we've raised the bar here and um, everybody understands expectations and what it takes to, to get there and to a bowl game. So, um, you know, it's great. And I, I love that we've been a part of it and we've been able to kind of create that. And so, um, you know, hopefully we'll continue to keep going. They've taught some great uh, values here and allowed me to, to um, you know, kind of grow into a, a different role that I never would have expected. And so, like I said, I always say I've been very blessed to, to be here and, um, you know, they've, they've taught me a lot and, um, you know, I wouldn't change, change anything that I've done here and I'm, I'm going to miss being here in the best four or five years of my life. His Ohio career nearly didn't happen at all. 
but every Bobcat is oh so grateful that it did. All of the yards, all of the winning, all of the attention, all of the good on and off the field, all of it tells us that Tyler Tettleton is and will continue to be a winner. From Norman, Oklahoma to Athens, Ohio, it was a connection that was more than just okay. It was OU. For Tanner Smith, I'm Russ Eisenstein. This is Bobcat TV.